Welcome back traders to Stat Oasis Academy. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build intermarket strategy using Strategy Quantex multi time frame feature. Basically, you can build a strategy on one instrument that is the logic based on a second instrument or on the same instrument but different time frame. It's a very powerful feature and I'm sure you will have some use out of it. So let's dive into the software. So to build an intermarket strategy, you will need two data streams. So we'll go to Builder, Full Settings, and we'll choose instead of simple strategy, multi time frame or multi symbol strategy. Now, first, we're going to make it easy. We're going to pick only one. And also to make the code easy, I picked only long. OK, so we go to data and then I pick the uh, oil. Uh, futures uh, data and then in the second chart let's pick uh, uh, you can pick anything I'm gonna pick the ES daily and then reset dates let's go to 2010 okay so first uh, to note is the date range so I have the oil futures from 83 but the ES daily I have it from 2000 that means all the strategies will be all the signals will happen after 2000 because I'm forcing the software to build the strategy based on the second chart so if there is no data before 2000 then nothing will happen from 83 till 2000 till 2000 okay uh, we're not doing any robustness checking and ranking I only picked the profit factor more than one that means I'm only doing profitable strategies and start building when we have something stop so if we go to pseudo text you will see long entry signal linear regression and uh, so this is of uh, the main chart as you can see here this is condition one on the main chart and you can see here the main chart is the current symbol current time frame Subchart one is this symbol ES daily. Okay, so condition one is on the main chart, and then condition two, Kelton channel, is on subchart one. Okay, we didn't pick the short signal. And if you go to easy language and we go to trading signals, so long entry signal is value one smaller than value two. So value one and value two, they're both on the uh, main uh, uh, chart. And then value three and value four and value five, and they will be data two. And how do I know is this? Value three is of data two, value four of data two, and value five of data two. And in TradeStation, for the traders who use TradeStation, that means it's the second chart, okay? And if I go to any other, uh, so this one, same thing, same thing. And if we go to pseudo, there will always be the subchart. Okay. So again, let's pick another one. So RSI of main chart, and then ADX of subchart. So now you build a strategy based on. Uh, another uh, based on another data stream now you can do something else um, let's pick I think I in the ES I have no let me see oh the uh, Bitcoin yeah so for example the bitcoin i have it on hourly okay i can also pick the same bitcoin and but choose the another time frame so for example the daily so let's clear all this again i'm using only the long everything is the same i just changed the data stream so reset and Let's pick 17. Okay. 
So now it's going to have two conditions, although the same symbol, but two different time frames. OK. And let's start building. OK, so if we pick this pseudo text, so main chart is the current symbol, current time frame. Sub chart is Bitcoin, but daily time frame. And you can see now the long entry is Williams R of the main chart. And then the second time frame is ADX of the sub chart. And it will be what? It will be the, and we can see it in trade station. It will be of data two. So long entry signal, value one less than minus 20, which is William. And value two more than minus 20. And value two again is the main chart. Value three less than 40, and that will be data two. So that will be the sub chart and then value four more than four. Okay. So now we can build a, uh, uh, to go back here, uh, you can build a breakout that's based on the daily time frame. So if the daily time frame is moving up and uh, basically you don't want to go short or you want to go short when it's up. So now you're, you're going with the higher trend. Now, also you can do, so let's go back to, let's pick the ES again. Everybody knows the volatility index, and this is an index and not a instrument that you can trade. You can trade the futures on this instrument, but you cannot trade this instrument. This is just an index. And uh, if you've seen my video before on how to download data from investing.com, you can go back and see it. So I downloaded uh, the index, the VIX index, okay? And I have from 1990 to 2020. Now this is, again, it's not tradable. It's an index, but I can use it to trade uh, the ES, for example. So let's pick the, um, let's see the VIX. VIX index, okay? So now I can, let's clear this. And now I can build strategies based on the VIX which is not tradable, but I trade the uh, ES on it, the mini uh, e mini futures. So again, long entry signal, bulls power of main chart, and then MACD of sub chart, which is in this case, the VIX index. So this is very powerful. Also you can do, so now we are gonna be, uh, We'll go deeper into this. Now I can build with two time frames. So even though Bitcoin has nothing to do with this, but just for illustration. So Bitcoin on hourly, that's what I'm going to trade. Okay. When the signal happens, I'm trading the Bitcoin hourly time frame. Although the signal is going to be based on the Bitcoin daily time frame and the VIX. So imagine you're trading the ES uh, with bonds and the VIX. Okay, that's three time frames. And we can test it. Let's clear all and start building. And now if we go to a strategy and let's see. So the long entry signal, stochastic main chart, changes direction upwards, MACD, that's also a sub chart one, which is B, uh, Bitcoin on daily time frame, and bar opens above smooth moving average of sub chart two, which is what, which is the VIX. So this is very powerful. And if you know TradeStation, to build this in TradeStation, it's really a pain in the uh, uh, but, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's uh, very easy to do here. And of course you can go even further and you can see where I'm going with this. You can build it on more time frames. And for example, let's say I'll show you a simple one. Um, so we'll pick again, Bitcoin here. Uh, 
and now I'm gonna go with four and daily okay and then I will go let's say with uh, assume this is another uh, coin okay assume you're you're trading uh, a small coin and you're putting the Bitcoin as the main time frame okay and you can even pick it as weekly or three days of course you can custom this yes but let's say weekly so now I want the hourly time frame aligned with the four hours time frame aligned with the daily time frame aligned with the, a major index or the major coin and so if you're trading, let's say, Ethereum coin, uh, obviously all coins, uh, they're correlated, highly correlated. So if you want to build on Ethereum, you want to make sure that you're not going against the Bitcoin. So you make the Bitcoin weekly time frame is the main one. OK, or even uh, let's do this. You can even go the same. Yeah. So same Bitcoin. But now you're, you're trading on four time frames. So the signal is going to be aligned on four time frames okay which uh, let's say limit the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the curve fitting and we can test this and although we don't have uh, lots of data so I'm going to use it, all of it since 2013 to 2020 and maybe even just leave uh, one year okay and then let's test And as you can see, long entry signal. So QQE main chart, and then ADX subchart one, which is H4, and then linear regression subchart two, which is HD1, and then close above linear regression subchart three, which is the weekly. So I hope this was uh, very helpful. I know it was for me. It's amazing what you can do with Strategy One X. I'm always amazed at the features they built in. Uh, but remember, all what you build is, unfortunately, crap. <laughs> so this is all to explore ideas, explore new logic, but you need to have a very sound logic for robustness testing, which I hope I'll go into into uh, future uh, videos. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you got some news out of this video. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so Google Algos can show it to other traders. See you in the next one.